Hi guys, it's Julian here. Some more on the Daily Mail of Donald Trump in the UK. People are watching outside Buckingham Palace. As you can see, people are here, just standing there. With listening to your spin, yeah. lies, yeah. bias, anti-conservative, anti-patriot, anti-populist, anti-nationalist. That's Space Amy talking about Donald Trump, I think. The tide is turning, people. We are going to take back our democracy. We're going to take back our... <laughs> We miss you, Obama. <laughs> oh man, that golden man's talking about Tom Jump's helicopter. He loved it when it came. State of Talking Liberty. There's Buckingham Palace in the London, UK. You guys don't know where it is. You know, it just coincided with our visit, but we're pretty Two American excited. ladies in the UK. He's here at the same time. Yeah. Union Jacks in the UK. I think that he does a lot of good things for us. Um, the name calling and stuff is stuff he could leave out. But, you know, I think everybody kind of gets excited about him anyway and <laughs> goes both ways. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Son of God can save us from our sins. <laughs> God. I um I don't think it helps the situation. I think that um he's a very controversial person as it is. So I don't know, I don't know whether uh, a visit like this is going to help anything in in particular. I guess it could for some of the locals. I mean, I haven't really been following about, up too much about what he was saying. Uh, hopefully they can calm everything during this visit and uh, make sure everything's nice and pleasant and nothing but good uh, pop, uh, positive news comes out of this trip. Um, this visit is long overdue. We've been looking forward to seeing him in UK. And thank God it's coming today. I, I respect my president, but I, whether I see him or not, it's no big deal. I'm on vacation. I'd rather see your beautiful sights and culture. So that feels like important. Well, one would say to me. It's Donald Trump. This is Boris's spe speech as well. I think he's betraying a quite stupefying ignorance that makes him frankly unfit to hold the office of president of the United States. I think Donald Trump is clearly out of his Boris is talking about Donald Trump. Way to proceed, you can't ban people going to the United States in that way, it would be to any country. I have to say, when Donald Trump says that there are parts of London that are, are no-go areas, I think he's portraying a quite stupefying ignorance that makes him, frankly, unfit to hold the office of President of the United States. Uh, I'm invited to come and see the whole of London and, and take him around uh, the city, except that uh, I wouldn't want to expose Londoners to any unnecessary risk of meeting Donald Trump. Maybe with him. He's been a friend of mine. He's been very nice. I have a very good relationship with him. We'll see what happens. But I may be with him. What he's doing is playing the game of the terrorists and those who seek to divide us. That is exactly the kind of reaction they hope to produce. In the Guardian. So that's in the Guardian of Boris.
with one side. There's Donald Trump inside Buckingham Palace with the Queen. Looking at some kind of paintings or pictures or something. By the looks of it. There's his daughter and there's Harry's dad, William. Looking at books by the looks of it. Interesting. Yeah. Well, well, I went in there sports at night. Uh, game, yeah. Well, everybody talks to people, don't they? I mean, <laughs> you can't speak to people, you can't communicate, can you? Um, well, if people like Donald Trump and the the Queen of England, this this would be their type of video, wouldn't they? You know? um, not everybody watches the Queen and Donald Trump, but if you like this type of video, then it's the one for you, isn't it? Well, I asked one, yeah. 
the same with anything in the world, isn't it? You know, um, everything wears and tears. Like <laughs> very nice pictures of the wall she's got, the Queen. You guys can see. Got loads of pictures. Inside the art gallery, by the looks of things. Appears to be a long video this one guys. Some people like long videos and people don't. A lot of people are into the art galleries and artwork. I've never really thought of art in the same way as this but uh, it is what it is I think. It's like Vinton van Gogh was an artist. He was um, artistic and a very clever guy. Most people know who Vinton van Gogh is, but this is a type of different subject. I mean, it's Donald Trump inside the art gallery of the Queen, but uh, a lot. I mean, Vinton van Gogh's paintings went for thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of pounds for painting. But um, yeah. Uh, Like laughing about something inside this uh, room.
There we go, ITV News. Anything else we can show about this sort of subject? Oh, this guy doesn't like Trump here, but I'm going to be showing you on YouTube. There, Trump. President Trump, if you're watching this, your values and what you stand for are the complete opposite of London's values and the values in this country. We think diversity is not a weakness, diversity is a strength. We respect women and we think they're equal to men. We think it's important to safeguard the rights of all of us, particularly the vulnerable and the marginalised. When you're the president of the USA, you have a massive leadership role. You have a massive platform as well. People follow what you do. What we've seen over the last few years in the USA is a rolling back of much of the progress made in previous decades. It's really important we continue to move forwards. What we've seen in the USA is a rolling back of the reproductive rights of uh, women. We've got a situation now where some states in the USA are making it almost impossible for women to have the rights to have an abortion. One only has to look at the history books to realise the consequences of women not having the right to choose over their own body. What we can't afford to do is return to back to the... I don't know what this guy is trying to say in this bloody thing. ...to the situation in yesterday decades where you had women have no control over their bodies. It's really important we support women in the USA. The fight for gender equality should just be a fight for women and girls. All of us should be feminists, and that means men and boys too. It was Lali Safsai, the Nobel Prize winner, who said, how can all of us benefit when half of us are held back? That's why it's all our interest to be feminist. If you believe that it's wrong for this gender inequality, if you believe it's wrong that women are less than men, if you believe it's wrong that women are still discriminated against in 2019, you're a feminist. Only weak men fear the strong woman. <laughs> so that's supposed to mean, but there we are. This is trying to put his point across against him. Right, so this is the Trump's arrival again. The reality is that we have the President of the United States invited here by Her Majesty the Queen. It's not about party politics, it's about celebrating a, a close relationship where over the last 75 years we have seen unprecedented peace and prosperity. And I think it's shame on the Labour Party that they don't recognise the bigger picture here. It was only after I welcomed him that I saw his tweets, which I think he must have put out seconds before he saw me. Yes. What do you think of his tweets? Well, look, he is uh, someone who's known for being combative. I don't think it surprise anyone that uh, he was angry about some of the things that the Mayor of London has been saying about him. Uh, because 75 years ago, we had more than a million American servants based on these shores, ready to sacrifice their lives to defend our liberty. That's what this visit is about. And people in the Labour Party seeking to make party political caption out of a state visit like this should be ashamed. They need to see the bigger picture here. This is a very, very important relationship in the world uh, for peace and prosperity of people across the world. And that's what we're celebrating. Well, we disagree with uh, President Trump's views on climate change. Um, so much so, in fact, that we are bidding to host the next big climate change conference, which will happen at the end of next year, COP26, uh, because we want to make an absolute statement that we are very, very concerned about the future of the planet and the melting of the ice caps and all those things. So we have those honest disagreements, but it doesn't get in the way of the bigger relationship. There's far more that we agree on than we disagree on. Well, I want to be first choice of Conservative Party members um, in this leadership contest. Uh, President Trump does not have a vote, and uh, so it's them that I'll be focusing on. Are you sad not to get his blessing? Well, uh, I think seeking the blessing from any foreign leader would be completely inappropriate for a foreign secretary whose job it is to represent the United Kingdom and the United Kingdom Prime Minister. Well. This is Nigel Farage, ITV. Do we want to run our own policies? Yes, of our we own do. country? As oh, we and done. by the way, reach out to a bigger world than Europe, because that's what, Britain. that is global what is Britain. so exciting about is Brexit. Global Britain? There are over 20 countries that are queuing up step of a global to do. Britain to come out of the biggest market in the world. How does that make any sense? Because we're having to pay a net £10 million a year, which be part of a market right. that over-regulates our industries and makes us less competitive. Now, we're taking back control. Uh, right. God, we're what? losing control. Why is it Britain? miserable? We're getting we're our independence. I am, really, I am not miserable. I am genuinely worried. We're, we're a great we country. We have committed, and you have helped bring about 
an act of economic and political suicide, and that we are going how to, is it to politically decry. How is it political suicide and more and more to make your own laws in your, in your own country? We don't have to lose democracy so much. No, 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 this point's fundamental. Democracy? What is wrong with running? What is wrong with running your own country? Let me ask you this about democracy. Should we be self When are you people, when are you, Sir Johnson and Gove, going to be held to account for the pack of lies you told? Are we going to stay in the customs union or not? No. Right. And did Boris Johnson say we would? No. Yes, he did. Three hundred and fifty million no. pounds for no, the no, 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 service. No. Are we going to get it or not? I Are you, we going to get it or not? Shall I tell you what the biggest lie is? Three hundred and fifty million pounds. Are we going to get you it? You told not? us it was a common market. It was about trade, and not to worry our little heads. Fifty years of lies. Fifty years of lies. Fifty years of lies. And we've now redressed the balance. And we're now, and we're now getting our independence back, our pride back, our self-respect back. We're going to be a proper nation. Sorry, we're going to be a laughing stock. Let's celebrate. I'll buy you lunch. I don't want lunch. I don't want lunch because lunch to me would be a waste of time, and I can spend my time trying to stop this madness. You're not going to stop it. It's all over. Well, I don't agree. Stop it. Stop. Listen, did you give up in nineteen seventy? Has Nicola Sturgeon given up? Did Brilliant. Barcelona give up when there were three when they needed three goals? The European, five minutes? Look, and what we've left when is people falling realize, to when pieces. When people realise their jobs, the Euro's a catastrophe, the migrant be. crisis is not the way. It's a bit, oh, we're going no, very We're on a lifeboat. We've left out? the Titanic. We're in a lifeboat. Uh, we're in a great spot. There's actually no doubt that there are a lot of people in this country that are than that. slightly having the collie wobbles. They're beginning to buy in. So and Suzanne Boyle, and Suzanne, what her name is. Anyway, singing. Nonsense. Two reasons. One, there are people in this country who are genuine Democrats, and they accept the result and say, "Not here, obviously," and they say, "Get on with it." But secondly, people are realizing we were told a complete pack of lies that you know it would be disastrous for our economy. And now we're seeing, and now we're seeing that actually, actually, it's the best thing that's happened to us in a generation. And we've got the chance. And we've got the chance. Well, the CBI, of course, like you, wanted to join the Euro. They were wrong then and they're wrong now. What did and, and, and that is so, true. And, and, I remember and, yeah, that. Absolutely. I remember every leading financial well, exchange right there, well, in Britain right. telling me yeah, yeah, yeah. if we don't join the Euro, it will be catastrophe. All wrong. All wrong. And we didn't know no, it wasn't. Can you both thank God. Well, I just want, uh, for instance, on immigration. Yeah. Theresa May does not do on immigration what you want her to do. Why did she have failed from your point of view well, as look, well? What I think is going to happen is this. We're triggering Article 50. It's a big moment. We're leaving. However, the terms on, on which we leave, whether we get the right deal on immigration... Well, wouldn't you like to we... have another vote on that? I mean, obviously not you. Because I think he wants another vote. Have if we won, I think what will happen, happen. Think what'll happen is probably the next two or three general elections will be absolutely dominated by the implications of Brexit, immigration being at the top, fisheries being important. There are what many, the many things to solve. Well, we, that's quite important. Yeah, we're going global. We're going global. Oh, we're going We've global. got lots to look forward to. Global. And we're leaving a Eurozone. And it's in a hell of a mess. Ireland is bigger than India. Ireland sells us more than we sell them. Will you, Irish you continue your debate? Deal. Good God. Things that happen in the world, eh? What could one say about this matter? I'd say very much. Trying to think what I can show next, unless I've covered most of the things for today. Got a very itchy ear. I don't know why. Right, so I've done most of the videos that I want to do. I hope you've all enjoyed them. Check out my other videos, and uh, yeah, I think it's double checking. I've got Nigel Farage's one to do then quickly, I think. <coughs> Get a quick day as Nigel Farage. It would have been the same. So he's been, been told not to, which is ridiculous. And I suppose in his campaign, publicly, I do speak to him occasionally. On the so I'm going to do a few more of these videos, guys, of Nigel Farage, Farage, and then I can we get on well. end the stream. I'm in the States to go and see him on the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Farage. Is it ridiculous? I mean, America is our most important security partner. America is our most important military partner. America is the biggest foreign investor in the United Kingdom. You know, America arguably is our greatest ally out there around the world. And the one person in this country that's got a good bridge, if you like, to Donald Trump and his entourage is me. You would have thought in the national interest, 
and might actually be useful to the British government. But because of the way British politics works, unless you're in the same party and wear the same coloured rosette, they don't want to know. And it actually reinforces my view that we've got to change politics for good in this country. There we go, that's Nigel Farage talking about changing politics for good in this country. And Nigel Farage three days ago. Mr Farage will um, go away at the instant he is faced with any expectation of responsibility. But i tell you what, Justin, I want us and the Brexit Party to be part of the government team to get us ready for leaving on the 31st of October with no deal. I want responsibility. You're wrong. Annalisia says, Nigel Farage, I could seriously marry you. Well, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it. Several have tried, it never seems to work very well. Izzy says, don't want nudes unless you're... Well, thank you, we'll move on. Uh, Mike Harris says, if you like him or hate him, this is a guy who has used democracy to bring change. Where small countries would learn that you don't have to use force. It's a big point, uh, actually, Mike. You know, the democracy is uh, what keeps the country peaceful. The trouble is, you've got to respect democratic votes. The loser has to consent to what's just happened. And since the referendum, there's been a bit of a problem with that. And that's it. We're done. Thank you, everybody, um, for your mostly good contribution. Don't forget to like and subscribe, eh? All right. Okay. Always something you learn every day, isn't there? Something new. I think. Could be a bit itchy beard, but <laughs> the fun. The one thing about Jeremy Corbyn is it gets on my nerves. At least Theresa May talks sense. I think Jeremy Corbyn just wants to stay in the customs union all the time. Um, what else can I show today? I'm trying to find the videos. I think this is it for this video, guys. And thank you for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe, share these videos with your friends. Thank you for joining me again. Peace.